Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another exciting episode of Paul Brown Show. This evening, my guest, my special guest, the lovely, the beautiful Miss Valencia Richburg. How you doing, ma'am? I'm great, Mr. Paul Brown. This is my daughter right here, and she has a business and stuff, and I'm, we're gonna tell you a little bit about her business. What's the name of that business? My business is Rich Bundles. Um, it's a hair extension, um, virgin Indian hair. Mm. So what made you wanna start this business? Um, well, currently I am a nurse, um, and I love the nursing part, but I also wanted to do some type of entrepreneurial um, actions so that my children will have something that I can pass down um, and maybe blow up in longevity and last forever and they can pass it on to their kids. The name of the business is Rich Bundles? Correct. Tell us a little bit about Rich Bundles and what they do. Rich Bundles is 100% Indian virgin Indian hair. Um, it's hair extension, so basically when we say 100% virgin, you can dye it, you can color it. Um, they have factories set up in India that donors um, go to, they get their heads shaved, mm -hmm. and they donate the hair. And of course the hair is then attached to a weft and tract and people use it to add hair extensions into their hair for longer or you know you have some type of some um, customers who have hair issues where they alopecia, cancer patients so um, weaves and extensions have grown over the past 10 I guess years and it's blowing up and something that's never going to go away anytime soon so great investment great opportunity um, for longevity something that will last forever beauty industry Okay, the hair business. What type of hair? I know the hair. I mean, how do you really tell a person what type of weave to put in their hair? I mean, uh, well, it's kind of all about what style you're looking for, and you know your day-to-day -day activities. If you're a person that um, is moving on the fast and go. To me, hair extensions are great for getting up and go. They're easy. They're easy to maintain. Um, low maintenance really when you have extensions in so it's i try to base it off of a person's day-to-day -day lifestyle um if it's, if you're a school teacher or if you're a fitness coach um i try to work with you i talk to you about what hair patterns work best for you what will be better um according to how long you plan on wearing it as well so you're located in columbia what type of issues have you come into as far as starting your business out? Um, the main thing I noticed, the support um, from locals um, is actually surprisingly um, has been great. Issues is not many issues, just trying to get it out there. Um, you have different competitors. Everyone is selling hair, to be honest. Right. So trying to compete with the pricing and get my clientele um, specific for who I'm trying to reach to and um, just trying to differentiate between what I have compared to what other hair sellers or extension sellers provide. What separates rich bundles from the other individuals? The Authenticity, uh, Authenticity uh, of it. Um, <laughs> thank you, Dad. <laughs> um, that separates it. Um, my hair is virgin. Okay. Most of the time, a lot of hair um, that most people purchase nowadays has been drenched in different types of um, oils and things that'll make the hair curl and make it do certain things that a normally natural hair won't do. So just trying to show people that this is natural, this hair comes directly off of the donor's head compared to sometimes um, they'll sell you or say that something is virgin hair and give it to you, you know, and it's not actually from an Indian donor, it'll be from a Chinese donor and they'll sell it as Indian or Brazilian hair. So the authenticity of my hair is what I think will separate me from everyone else. What type of clientele are you looking for as far as are you, is it a individual that's looking for just hair or someone that's 
willing to invest in hair or? Good question. Um, I always tell people my hair is an investment. I, um, I look for the clientele professional. I'm willing to serve anyone, but my hair is mainly for, or I try to reach out to professional um, grown-ups um, that are established because it does require an investment. My hair lasts for one to two years, and in order to get that type of quality, you do have to pay a higher price. Um, my prices don't really even match up to a local hair store because it's a little more expensive, but the quality and w the longevity of it is what um, makes it better and worth the investment. Who are some of the individuals that have influenced you as far as in building your business? I pay attention to a lot of the big name um, virgin hair companies. I really don't want to mention them, but I do have a lot of influences. Um, black, African-American um, ladies who are doing it very well um, in Atlanta, Maryland. I follow a girl in Maryland that um, in the past three years have made her $500 investment into a almost half a million dollar okay. company. So um, I have some a few inspirations mm -hmm. out there that um, have inspired me. And besides the fact that I've always kind of worn weaves since for the past probably 15 years now, I know weaves very well. I'm very um, knowledgeable of hair extensions because mm -hmm. I, I've had so much time um, with trying them out, working with them you know, coloring, doing all the different things that you can do with extensions. I know you have a lot of individuals that is locally in Colombia mm -hmm. as far as your friends and all that. Tell us some of your friends and how they have impacted you and helping you to make this business grow. Well, my close friends have been very good with helping me grow this because, of course, um, I'm a believer in you are the company you keep Correct. in. My friends do wear hair extensions, okay. so allowing them to, um, or they've been willing to wear the hair, they purchase it from me, promote me on Instagram. Um, I think people realize that, you know, once people know that your hair is pretty good and your friends, they, you know, they know your reputation, reputation and they know they're used to seeing what you normally have. So when you put that out there and say, hey, I'm selling this now, when normally, you know, they're always asking, hey, um, where did you get your hair from? Um, I think friends being able to promote it helps a lot. Mm. The hair business. Um, now, I know this might be a crazy question, okay. but you have a lot of guys. I know. You I know, see that now. So do you, you get in, I mean, do, how, do you get in selling them as well? I haven't or? gotten that far yet. Um, I'm right now, um, I'm only at the point where I'm servicing women. Now, if guys wanted to purchase them, I'm not against that. But normally I see guys now wearing the shorter limbs, the kind of, um, and they're wearing the, the weaves now on, you know, just for a phase, I guess that that's going on now, mm -hmm. but um, I haven't gotten that far with guys actually buying the hair from me, but I'm more than open and I hope one day that my business is that big where they're purchasing as well. Where do you see Rich Bundle five years from now? Five years from now, I see Rich Bundles on many billboards, multi-states, um, more, by five years, I want to be at least a half of a million dollar company as, as well. So um, I know I can do it. I know it takes time, but I'm just giving myself that time. I really want to be successful. Okay, I know we're going to talk not only about Rich Bundle, but you're married. Tell us a little bit about your husband and how he has been an impact into your life. Um, Derek has been great. He's been very supportive. He's always had my back. He um, assist me with the research part of it. A lot of what I'm doing now since my company is so new, I'm doing a lot of research. So he's with me all the time, whether it's taking care of the kids, helping me with going to the libraries, um, promoting as well on social media. He's just been very supportive. You know, he has my back, so. And you have a little daughter and a son. Um, tell us a little bit about them. I have a daughter, Jerry Jadaria. She's 11 years old. She's in the sixth grade. She's a straight A, great, okay. wonderful student, um, magnet program, best of the best. Then I have a son, Kaiser. He is um, 12 months. Um, Kaiser is a busybody. Um, it's been 10 years, so, but they're great. I wouldn't trade them for the world. Mm. And, um, 
I know living in Colombia, you, your mother, your sisters are there. Mm -hmm. How much of an impact has your mother been? And brother. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot my little Daryl, so I'll bet that little Daryl go, go. Um, They've been great, just very supportive. Whatever I need, you know, whether it's helping me with trying to create these business plans, um, websites, things like that. I mean, whatever information that they can provide me with or whatever they can do to be assistive to help me, um, they've been there. So it's been great. Now, you got some, some, some really attractive, but they're kind of wild sisters now. Tell us a little bit about Tasha and then about Keisha. Uh, Tasha, she's my oldest sister. I think she'll be 33 this year, um, Natasha. And then Tasha is a, um, very well off herself. She's currently um, starting to create her own business. I think she's looking into doing um, some type of um, nightlife events. Um, She's great, um, very supportive, um, retired military. And then Nakisha, she's wonderful. She's my next to the oldest sister. She has two children. She just graduated with her master's in business. So of course she's been helping me. I'm gonna try to get her on my accounting part of it and just go from there, keep it in the family. <laughs> Have a little Daryl, I mean, I mean look. look. Daryl, he's gonna be mad we call him little Daryl. Daryl, um, he's doing good. Um, Daryl um, just recently started speaking about wanting to do some type of clothing Correct. business. So um, I'm proud of him because he's just kind of getting his niche with finding what he wants to do in life. Um, so I'm extremely proud that he's going into that part. He's interested in doing Fashion Week by next year. Mm -hmm. So um, he's starting a black owned clothing b business. I'm not exactly sure what it's, um, what the idea of it is or who it's focused mainly on, but I know it's going to be more of a um, suit and tie type of company. And he's gonna be on the show in the near future all day well, <laughs> so just be waiting for them. <laughs> what makes Valencia smile? Uh. I'm just happy. Um, I have God by my side. I know that he's leading me throughout all of this. I know that whatever goes or doesn't go is because of him um, and his son Jesus. So I'm just happy because I know through it all, God is with me. And I know um, if this is his plan, it'll be. It is his plan. I mean, because you've done so much, you know, and I'm proud of you and you're growing up and, you know, you're doing this business thing. and. Anything I can help you with, I will. I I'll that. do that. You know, and I just want to say, um, you know, oh, we're getting off topic of it. <laughs> so, um, you know, I mean, I just touched this stuff for my daughter. Oh. Okay, as far as how do you get catalogs and wholesale prices for your wigs? Um, for wigs and extensions, wholesale. I'm not offering wholesale yet because I'm fairly new so I don't have an option for wholesale but I do have connect so if there's someone who's interested in this business that business as well as well and is interested in wholesale pricing I definitely don't mind helping people or leading them into a right direction um, but eventually I pray to see my stuff in catalogs and um, you know doing wholesale options as well what type of what advice would you give new business owners? Because I'm fairly new um, or very new, um, my advice would be research, you know, um, study, learn the product, learn what you're trying to sell. If you're not confident in what you're selling, it's probably not good. Um, one thing that I could have went the cheaper route and purchased hair from overseas, um, from cheaper companies, but I was not able to sell that because I don't wear that. So be um, firm in what you are providing and know that what you're selling is worth selling. Um, and that's what I would recommend. Research, research, research. Now I know you're, you're talking about cheaper hair. How can you really tell the difference from one type than the other? Um, a lesser grade hair, um, you won't be able to dye it when you wet it. The thought of Indian virgin hair is that it's multi-purpose. So if it gets wet, um, it looks very great wet. Or if um, you want it straightened, you can do it straightened as well. So it's more versatile. When you go to the cheaper versions of hair or the um, non-virgin type um, hair, 
you can't do as much. Um, it doesn't last you long, probably last you like a week or two um, compared to my hair. Again, I guarantee a year or two worth of um, longevity with the hair. So it's just the ability to be able to be a lot more versatile with the hair and do a lot more than you could normally do with a cheaper version of extensions. I know some of the young ladies, they like long hair, but you got the new kind of short hair. Mm -hmm. how, do your hair, how do you get to that whereas you can cut your hair or how does that work? Or? Um, well, the hair ranges in inches. So um, I normally start off by selling what's um, a 14 inch and I have up until about a 26 inch that I offer. Um, it's just up to the person, their lifestyle, whether they want it long or you know they can get it long. This install that I have now, the hair was originally long. Mm -hmm. I installed it a second time and the young lady cut it for me. Thank you, Tammy. So um, just, um, Knowing what you want and what you like, you know, it's all up to, to the client, really. Um, whether or not they're used to long hair, a lot of times people are not used to that. They want shorter hair, something that looks very natural. And I'm noticing um, that a lot of people want natural limbs. So the shorter limbs are what's in now compared to a few years ago, everyone wanted long weave, so. Can you braid? Sure. You can? You can, I you mean, can do I... everything to it. You can do anything. Once you install it, it's, I tell people it seems like it's coming out of your scalp. Mm -hmm. It's like it's your natural hair. You can do whatever you want to it. You can braid it. You can wash it. You can color it. You can do whatever you want to it. It's natural Indian hair. So, so to you, what does that hair do to a young lady? Um... In my opinion, um, adding extensions, some people, I think it just helps with confidence, you know, um, whether or not your natural hair is not as thick or whether or not you just like to change up style. Some people have a head full of hair underneath their extensions, but they like the versatility of being able to wear a short bob and um, or go to long hair. So I think to, it's just a confidence. It's a beauty thing. It's just like putting makeup on, you know, it, it adds that to you and it gives you that extra mm, to yourself that normally that? you might uh, not. What, what that, that mean? That, uh. that extra, like, you know, I'm cute. <laughs> and they like that, don't they? They like that, they do, they do. And to the guys who have these young ladies, why is it important for them to notice things like that? I think it's important for a guy because again, it builds confidence. Um, what is a woman without confidence you know what you know it's hard to be successful it's hard to do anything if you don't feel great about yourself in my opinion that's my opinion but um you know if your hair is all over the place and looking a mess you know it's hard to go out and be productive throughout the day so i think for a guy who has a young lady who wears extensions you know supporting her with that you know maybe she's self-conscious about certain things 